Good YouTube, it's your boy there back again for another first listen. My nigga Pliz ain't. <laughs> and today we are going to take a listen to a new EP from Young Thug and uh, DJ Carnage. Now, last time I heard of DJ Carnage, I did uh, do a track with him and Lil Yachty on there. And, you know, I found that kind of cool. It wasn't anything too bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like Yachty actually did his thing and showed Yachty's potential on a good beat and he ate that job. Um, I don't know if DJ Carnage is a producer or whatnot or if he's just, you know, just one of those DJs that's out there mixing stuff. I'm not really too sure. But I mean, him and Young Thug, this is probably gonna be something new from Thug. Maybe in that EDM lane. Look, I don't mind EDM music and all that stuff. I'm just saying, I miss, I miss the old Thug, if that makes any sense. I miss the Thug where we just didn't understand what he was saying. It sounded like he wasn't even speaking English. I mean, I know that kind of sound messed up, but I'm just saying that that's the, that's the Thug I was, I was fucking with. Everybody gotta develop, everybody gotta grow. I think I deserve the right to critique Young Thug because I am an avid Thug listener. So for all those people out there, like, oh, you don't understand Thug. Like, look, man, I've probably been listening to Thug longer than you have. And I've been seeing his growth all the way from goddamn stoner to what he is now. So, hey, man, but like always, though, man, been fucking talking too much. Let's get right into this. We got Young Thug and Carnage, Young Martha EP. Y'all ready? All right, we got track one. Homie featuring Meat Mill. Bitch, my lights flickering? What the? <laughs> what the? Hold on. Oh, my lights just went out, bro. Guess we going with no light. I mean. Damn, light really went out on me, man. That shit crazy. We gonna ride with it, though. We gonna ride with it. The beat was hard and not my it was so hard and not my light out. Um I'm not I'm not too sure if I was feeling that to be honest with you. I mean, it didn't really do anything for me. Uh sound just like a lot of screaming. I mean, yeah, they had a lot of emotion in the rap, but honestly, I feel like they weren't really saying anything that wasn't resonating with me at least. I mean, y'all might get hyped to it, but I wasn't really getting hyped. And I, I listened to a lot of young thug tracks where I get hyped. And this wasn't one of them that actually did anything for me. So I mean, let me know in the comments below. That's probably a lot of y'all favorites. I just was honestly feeling that one. I just... Track two, Liger. <laughs> I just want to put my D on your camel toe. All right. I feel like a porno, you know what I'm saying? You just be sticking that shit in, you be slapping the Bella Anderson when that shit, you know? <laughs> Okay, okay. DJ Carnage and Young Young Thug, they did their thing on that one. I like that beat. That, you know, that little flute going on with them. Do, 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 do. Sound like um, Portland. Remember Portland from, um, from uh, what was the album called? What was Drake album called? Uh, Y'all know the album called. Port, but Port, it sounded like Portland, you know, when they used the flute. That, I, I kind of like what they did right there. I mean, look, man, I'm not... I'm not I understand it's a little EP, so it's not nothing like no full project. It's just four tracks here. We got four tracks of Thugger rapping over some 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 hype stuff. I'm assuming all is gonna be hype. Track three, ten thousand slimes. <laughs> Yeah, 
I don't know if I like that or dislike it. Like the first half of the track was, ah, oh, oh, underwhelming. I guess. I mean, it was like cool. I understand. It was one of the slower tracks out of the Homie and Liger. I didn't like it. And then it went into that transition right before. Um, I think it was like the two minute mark. Um, you know, the 808 starting hit hard. I'm like, all right, it's about to be a build up. And then I knew a drop was coming, and the drop hit. I'm like, all right. Then it came back into the into the chorus. I was like, you know what, this is kind of tight. I like this. I, I ain't gonna front. I like it. So uh, maybe after a couple of listens, I might like it. It might grow on me. I don't know. But ten thousand slimes, you know, that's just an up and down for me. So we got basically. I didn't like. I didn't like homie. I liked liger. And then ten thousand slimes is really an up and down track for me. So I mean, let, let's see what this last track, "Don't Call Me," featuring Shaka, does for me. Check me out, man. Um, that track right kind of remind me of you know that um good time when I have a good time like that kind of feel that young thug. Not the um uh, not the island vibe, but it just I feel like it's more towards that side of music. You know that electronic techno type stuff. I feel like he just did like a little bit of everything on his little EP here. He had you know with you know obviously he's with DJ Carnage. You know he's just trying to he's just trying to get to that sound, see if it's work for him. I can understand. Look, you got to experiment. Feel everything out, try everything. I don't have any problem with that. Uh, don't call me featuring Shaka was a good track. Liger was a good track. Ten Thousand Slimes was up and down. The only bad track on here is, is Homie featuring Meat Mill. Not saying it's bad. It's like a, a bad track. I'm just saying to me, I realized it wasn't really feeling it. Um, y'all might like it. I know a lot of y'all some Meat fans, so you know y'all kind of like force y'all to like some stuff sometimes. Look, it's all cool. It's all opinion. At the end of the day, we all gonna like what we like. But I mean. Um, maybe if he did a whole project with Carnage and he kind of had that sound with Don't Call Me um, and Liger, I could, I could definitely get down with it. You know, I like, I likes the boogie, I likes the sound. Sometimes I like to get up, I like, a, I like to groove. You know, so I don't mind this sound from Young Thug. I'm just saying, man, my favorite stuff from Young Thug is obviously like um, Barter. Um, what else? Uh, Jeffrey was another one that I like from Young Thug. And even like even uh even slime season three, you know what I'm mean? saying? Like that, all that stuff like is is what I like from Thug. I like when he just like rapping about that old stuff. My, my favorite track from Thug is obviously, if y'all don't know, is obviously Power. Power is my like yo. When every time I hear Power, I just feel like I'm just in, in King Troop. Oh my God, bro! Like I'm, man, he just be Thug just be going in. I came in the fabulous. I came with the fabulous. <laughs> be doing stuff like that so i mean look man young thug always gonna be an interesting artist on my radar actually in my playlist can't even say radar because he is in my playlist um you know i just expect a certain sound from young thug it kind of sound weird but i mean honestly i hate when i understand what thug's saying i like when he don't speak english i mean i'm just being real with y'all on that you know i like them i like the the gibberish and you know because sometimes the gibberish be sounding good over a london or a, a metro track so i mean look that's all i'm saying let me know y'all let me know how y'all feel about thug from back then to now because i know a lot of people used to hate thug back in the day 
But nowadays, you know, a lot of Thug got a really good following. I'm just saying, I mean, you know what? He just, he gets on you. After you listen to it a couple more times, you're like, man, you know what? All honesty, this isn't that quite bad. So I just want to know if y'all felt differently from before to now. And uh, if y'all like this little EP and y'all think you should continue this kind of music, this kind of sound. Just put in the comments below. Let me know what y'all think. And um, yeah, man, don't forget to follow me on social media. Let me know what y'all want to hear. I got a couple more artists out the blue that y'all wouldn't expect me to listen to that I'm going to um, put some reviews on. I know a lot of... Um, Big name artists haven't released anything. I know Travis Scott coming out with something later later this year. I think Drizzy said he's supposed to come out with something this year too, as well as Kanye. But other than that, you know, it hasn't really been any big big name artists. I know a lot of y'all favorite artists have released stuff, but big name artists haven't really put anything out that I, you know, that's off the top of my dome. But hey, don't forget always uh, follow your boy on all my social medias. Let me know what y'all want to hear. Until um, the next time, let me know in your comments below how y'all feel about stuff. If y'all want to talk to me, just drop a random comment. If y'all been watching the video till now, put hashtag panda. And uh, until the next time, it's been your boy Dad. We out.